Hello, it's Susan Duclos with All News Pipeline. It's April 8th, 2017. And here's one that we should all keep our eye on in the news for because uh, it, it's pretty interesting. You've got 150 law enforcement people, most likely across the country, hunting for a man. It, this is that Daily Mail that we're looking at this. It starts off with, y'all have no idea what's about to happen. There's a suspect. He's wanted in a manhunt. He stole firearms from a gun store. Coincidentally, the gun store's name was Armageddon. And he's threatened schools. And later on, we'll see also politicians in Janesville, Wisconsin. He also sent a 161-page manifesto to President Trump. Had a friend record him mailing the letter. Now, there's a $10,000 reward for information um, on Wisconsin man Joseph Jakubowski. I may be pronouncing that wrong. Sorry if I am. Uh, he's believed to be heavily armed with a ballistic, ballistic vest. And if he's spotted, they're asking people to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. Now, here's the guy down in the bottom of the screen here. There was a video that was released on Friday, and it showed this man sus suspected of stealing firearms from a southern Wisconsin gun store, also mailing an anti-government manifesto to President Donald Trump. More than 150 law enforcement officers are searching for this 32-year-old. Investigators believe he stole a large quantity of high-end handguns and rifles from a Janesville gun shop Tuesday night. So he, th this all happened Tuesday. The letter was mailed Tuesday and the gun store robbery was Tuesday, but the video wasn't released until Friday. On Friday, they closed public schools, a couple public schools and local colleges because of non-specific threats, but it's because this man made the threats. You can see him holding the letter, which he is there, gets stamps, holds letter, mails it, and it is made out to Donald Trump. Now, one of the worrisome things about this is you'll see he even put his name on this manifesto. To me, um, and it's just my opinion, this man is not planning on being taken alive. Okay, and you're going to see some of the stuff that he, uh, that he stole down lower in the story here. His friend, who stayed out of the video frame, specifically said, you'll never forget this face, ever. Apparently, in relation to what this man is planning. Here's another, uh, I guess this was one of his mug shots. 15 minute long social media video was released Friday. It shows the footage of Jackie Bowski mailing a letter to the president. He poses with the envelope addressed to the president and mails what appears to be the anti-government manifesto. It was filmed by a friend who eerily says, y'all have no idea what's about to happen as they wait for stamps at the post office. He stamps the, uh, uh, the comment, you'll never forget his face ever, is as the guy's putting the stamps on in, in evidently the 15 minute long video. And as they walk out of the post office, he te he speaks to the camera. Says, anyone who got this letter, you might want to read it. There you see it's good, and I'm assuming that's, uh, you know, crap. Revolutionary. It's time for change. And his friend says, it's D-Day. Remember this face. To which he responds, F the system, before smiling at the camera. He marks the time he mailed the letters April 4th, 2017 at 5.43 p.m., hours before he's accused of robbing the gun store. Now, they've got pictures of him in the gun store, so they know, you know, he's not just the suspect, but evidently he did it. He acquired not only weapons, but a bulletproof vest and helmet. He became the prime suspect in the burglary of the Armageddon gun shop after a car registered to his name was found burning on a rural road about three miles from the store within a half hour of the break-in. Newly released 
photos show him at a mobile gas station. Okay, so this isn't the store. This is the mobile close to where he torched the car. There's the car that was torched. Here you see FBI agents providing tactical support to sheriff's detectives during a search for Joseph Jakubowski in Janesville, Wisconsin on Thursday. He's believed to be the man seen in the surveillance video of a gunshot burglary. So they did catch him in the store. I just had the wrong picture above. There he is. They say he's the suspect and he's seen in the surveillance video with the large bag of large, uh, a large quantity of high-end handguns and rifles from the store. So basically this man is highly armed, very dangerous. He didn't have a problem with his name being on the letter or, or the threats to the schools, the politicians. So, uh, again, in my opinion, this guy's not planning on being taken alive. And he's planning on making a big bang, literally, while going out. Says Spoden said an associate of his told authorities he had been agitated by national politics and recently verbalized a plan to steal guns and use them in an unspecified attack. The associate also said he made non-specific threats towards schools and public officials. Public schools in Janesville and nearby Milton canceled classes on Friday as officers combed the surrounding county. Now, what gets me, um, they talk about there's 150 law enforcement officers on the lookout for this guy. And they're saying that on Friday, officers were combing that part of uh, Janesville, Milton, and surrounding county. But if all of this happened on Tuesday, but the video wasn't released till Friday, that gave this man three days. He could be anywhere. He could be anywhere in the country. He could be heading to D.C. He So I don't know exactly, but if the FBI is looking for him, chances are this is a nationwide manhunt. There is a $10,000 reward that has been offered for information leading to his arrest. They say he's believed to be armed and dangerous. Anyone with information about his whereabouts is urged to call 1-800-CALL-FBI, which is 225-5324. So, folks, keep your eye on this one. Some Evidently, he's planning a big event. If, if, if he succeeds in carrying out a big event, whether he ends up getting shot and killed during it, after it, whatever, chances are... It will be this guy if you see something big happen. So, that's just a heads up. A story that we should keep our eye on. Thank you.